In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve differential equations that are in the form of y prime equals f of ax plus by plus c. We can convert these type of differential equations to a separable differential equation by this substitution. If we choose this expression, ax plus by plus c as u, so if we choose u to be ax plus by plus c, by this substitution, always we can convert these type of differential equations to a separable differential equation. Let me show you this by some examples. Our first example is y prime equals negative sine squared of x plus y plus 1. In this example, the function f is negative sine squared and ax plus by plus c is x plus y plus 1. So for solving this differential equation, we choose u to be x plus y plus 1. Now, from this substitution, we have to find y prime in terms of u prime because we want to replace everything in this differential equation in terms of u. So, after we choose u to be x plus y plus 1, we have to take derivative from both sides of this relation. So, u prime, derivative of u is u prime, derivative of x is 1, and derivative of y is y prime. From this equation, solve this for y prime. If we move one to the other side, y prime equals u prime minus one. Now, in this differential equation, we can replace this expression with u, and we can replace y prime with u prime minus one. So everything in this differential equation now is in terms of u. This is the reason that we have to find derivative of this relation. So if we replace y prime with u prime minus 1, we have u prime, u prime minus 1 equals negative sine squared of u. Note that u prime is actually du over dx, derivative of u with respect to x, du over dx. If we move 1 to the other side of the equation, we have 1 minus sine squared of u. Now, if you notice, this differential equation can be written in the form of a separable differential equation. We have to move 1 minus sine squared to the denominator of du and we can bring dx to the numerator so we can separate u from x so we can write it in the form of a separable differential equation but before doing so note that 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared from the trigonometry identities we know that 1 minus sine squared of u is cosine squared of u so first we write the differential equation in this form. And now, if we move cosine squared of u to the denominator of du, and if we bring dx to the numerator, we get to this differential equation, du over cosine squared of u equals dx. And as you can see here, this is a separable differential equation. du, the expression in terms of u, is separated from dx. For solving this equation, we have to integrate from the two sides of the equation. Note that for finding integral of du over cosine squared of u, 1 over cosine squared 
is secant squared because we know that secant is one over cosine so one over cosine squared which we have here is secant squared and we know from the integral formulas integral of secant squared is tangent of u so integral of the left side of this equation integral of du over cosine squared of u is tangent of u and integral of dx is x and don't forget to add the constant c now finally if we replace this u with x plus y plus 1 We have tangent of x plus y plus 1 equals x plus c. And this is the solution of this differential equation. And if you like, you can find y and find y explicitly in terms of x. You can leave your answer in this form. And this is the solution of this differential equation. But if you like, to write your y explicitly if you want to get rid of this tangent first you have to take tangent inverse so we can write this answer in the form of x plus y plus 1 equals tangent inverse of x plus c and for finding y for isolating y we have to move x and 1 to the other side of the equation so finally we get to this y equals tangent inverse of x plus c minus x minus 1 and this is another form that you can write your answer